Creating a selection set. If I'm working along, let's say I'm going to place a door in, and I'm going along and I said, you know what, I want to select a different door. In order to select something, I first must exit out of the tool that I'm currently in. So I'm in the door command currently, so I need to exit out. So I'm going to hit escape. Then, in order to select a door that I want to modify in some way, I need to come up to the upper left and say select. I mean, say modify. Uh, sorry, I'm going to pick modify. Now I'm able to come down and pick on any element in the drawing, such as this particular door. Then the door will show up in its properties, and you can see what you have selected. So it will turn a blue color when it's selected. Uh, so once we have selected it, we could do all kinds of manipulation to that particular selected element. Uh, in this case, I could just delete it, for example. You know, I could go up to the modify, and one of the things I could do in the modify panel is to delete this particular item if I so desire. So, uh, in order to do something for a thing, we first must uh, hit escape, get out of the tool that we're in, go up to modify, and then once we find the modify tool, we pick on the element that we want. At that point, we are able to modify that particular element in various ways. And we know that that particular element is selected because it's in blue. And it will tell us over in properties what it is. And we have all the tools up in a ribbon in which we can deal with that particular item, such as delete an object, for example.